Hi everybody and welcome back to another video, another haul video and this is about, this is going to be about shoes and in my earlier videos, first of all welcome back to all of you uh, and watch, for those of you who are watching my videos, as I had said earlier, this is a relaunch of my vid uh, YouTube video and I'm now uh, just basically showing eBay hauls, uh, Salvation Army hauls and stuff like that. So uh, welcome back, and I hope you enjoy the videos that I'm sh I'm bringing to you. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll subscribe. And again, thank you. So let me let me move on with the with the haul. And I apologize for all that black stuff that I had. It's my daughter bought a Dollar Tree tablecloth, <laughs> and it's from Dollar Tree. So <laughs> there you go. That says it all right there. So anyway, oh, I had dropped a box earlier. I think I was showing a video and it, I had dropped it. It was a Versace, Versace box. And it does come with all the, all the wear on it, whatever. Usually boxes like this I'll sell for $10. And I have a couple of uh, my phone Samsung 7 Edge boxes that I have. I'm going to be posting those as well on eBay. So just so you know, that's what I had dropped. That's what you heard, Paul. And this one's going to be a shoe haul. These are all the shoes that I bought at the bins. They're all from the bins. I don't buy from the Goodwill uh, retail stores. I don't buy at Salvation Army. Even if they go half price, I won't buy them. I would rather pay $2.50 and, or $0.99 cents for um, sandals. So this is, all of this is from, from, the, from the bins. So let me get started so I can finish and go on to the next video and again I'm wearing the same clothes because it's all back to back videos and uh, let me get started these actually I paid $5.99 I gambled on these so we'll see how this goes these are Crocs they're the pink they're very nice actually but again we don't get I'm in Texas San Antonio to be exact and we don't get much rain or colds all we get is a flu around here so that's about the extent of it and I mean they, these bad. oh and by the way just so you know the clothes that I do buy with the exception of the ones that have tags those I steam clean everything else gets washed before I sell anything so just just a disclaimer it does have the logo there it says Crocs and they're very clean I clean these out myself so, I did pay $5.99 for these. I'm hoping I can flip them for a little bit more. So, if we had rain here, I would keep them, but we don't. <laughs> and let me see. <clears throat> I found, and most of these I sanitize. I, clean, I wipe them down or I spray them down with aerosol. These are brand new. Um, somebody had ripped the tags off at the, at the, at the bins. They're from Nine West. Am I showing you that right? No. They're a little bit dirty because they're in storage. But Nine West. And I haven't, I found them. I just don't remember the comps on this one. But they're very pretty. Too bad they, they're not my size. These are a size 10 medium, I believe. Let's see if you can see that. 10. Yeah, 10 medium. They're really nice shoes. I really like these. But, oh well. Can't have them. Then I bought these um, Speedos, I believe. These were 99 cents. The uh, Nine West were 99 cents. And these are 99 cents also. And they do have some wear in them. So, but they'll still sell. So I got those as well. And then I found, oh my gosh, I, I wish these had fit me. But they didn't. So I just, these I do have to clean a little bit. They're very pretty. It's a Target brand, Massimo, Massimo I think it is. Massimo. There you go. They're very pretty. Too bad I'm not a six and a half. They're very, very pretty. I love these. But they didn't fit. 99 cents at the bin. Got those. And I found another pair of. Hughes, I think they're called Hughes, and 
these do have a little bit. I have some red ones. I think they're in there. I don't remember. But they're brand new. These have a little bit of wear in them. They have the elastic. And there you go. They're very cushiony. So, and there you go. They're very comfy to wear around the house. So, I like those. And let me see. These, these are listed. I think I have. I'll just rip them open. I can at least see one. Kind of gives me a chance to go over my inventory. And here's the thing about, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about people who go out and source. And they buy and buy and buy stuff. And then here's where I get very disappointed when I hear people say, I'm going to turn around and uh, redonate my stuff to Goodwill or to the bins, whatever, because it's a dead pile. Thank God to this day, I don't have one. But then again, as much as I like sourcing and I love spending time at the Goodwill, I don't overdo it. Um, for some reason, sales on eBay have been very, very low. I mean, some people are maybe moving two to three items per week, if that. So others are having a fantastic time. I mean, they've got like 15, 20, 25 packages going out the door, but not everybody has that. And then I, they show their inventory, and I'm like, why are you still sourcing? I stopped because I got more than enough inventory and until that inventory starts running low then I have no business sourcing I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna over stuff my storage to to stuff that's gonna become a dead pile I just can't see myself doing that but hey you know to each his own right so I just thought I point I just thought I'd point that out my I, I need to move my stuff I can't have stuff in my storage for months on end i mean you've got to think about bugs silverfish all that kind of crap bacteria germs you know i i can't do that i can't i clean my stuff very very well and i put it in plastic as you saw i just opened it and while i'm showing you the video i figured i might as well look it over and make sure everything's okay nothing's decaying nothing's you know going bad so that's what i do so anyway I got these pair of Nicole's. Now, these were these are they do have wear, but I made the mistake of getting some alcohol and rubbing a stain it had and it rubbed off on the it rubbed off some of the the um color. So I was disappointed in that. But anyway, there you go. These are very, very pretty. Again, they're too big for me. If they're not too big, they're too small. So that really kind of pisses me off, but I can't find my socks so see I think they're very very pretty they're ankle wraps and it's got the brass right in there so yeah that's something I would wear but again too big so anyway uh, then I bought these um, these oh my gosh I love these <laughs> I really did I fell in love with these these are called Telex if you've ever tried on a pair of these shoes, these were 99 cents by the way, and so were the other ones. Uh, it is such a comfortable walk. It, it's like you're walking on a cloud. But, I don't know, it's, I just couldn't get the hang of it. I mean, it's a comfortable shoe. It's got a lot of foam in there. I mean, it's so comfortable. It's, it's like a shoe I've never felt before, but I just can't, I trip too much. So I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna chance it. I'm just gonna sell them. So there you go. I think I wore these for one day, and I said, no, gotta go. <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to be found on the side of the sidewalk. So they're very, very clean. You know, I sanitized them and everything. So I got these listed already, and I keep these in plastic, but I do check them on a regular basis, and I try and put some of that silica absorbent in here when I get the chance and I have a whole bunch there that I need to start doing that. So I've got those and let me see what else. Um let me see. I found these as well. Um these are a pair of coach. 
sneakers, I want to say. They're very clean. I've already cleaned them as well. Um, they're very nice. Very, hardly any wear on them. And um, they got the coach signature there. And then you've got, I think I paid $249 for these. These were $249. So these are, these. Are, I listed these right away, but I check on, on them to make sure that, you know, there's no silverfish because it, it is material. So I kind of make want to make sure that they're okay. Um, and the, I do have the uh, those silicas that absorb the moisture in these. It's in the bag as well. So, you know, I just check them from time to time to make sure. So I paid, I think it was $2.49 for those. <laughs> then I found <clears throat> these as well. And the same thing, you know, they're they're very comfortable, but they just feel funky to me. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall in them, but they do have a very comfortable wear. They're called Ufos, Ufos, something like that. These these are expensive shoes. They're not cheap. I mean, they're not cheap. They're expensive. Too small. So there you go. Let's see. There you go. I mean, they're, I've never put on a shoe like this one. It feels good. <laughs> I mean, it's worth the money. Those were 99 cents as well. Then I found these. They're just simple flip-flops, I think. Uh, they're by Flip USA. It says Flip USA trademark. I'm not sure. And they're very clean. They're just red, white, and blue. 99 cents, I think, for these. Let's see, what else did I get? Um, okay. um, these I found, these are little girls' shoes, actually. They're by Charlotte Roos, Russ, or Roos. Something like that, and they're a size four, if I'm not mistaken. They did fit. I just didn't like the way they fit. So they have sequins on them. Very little wear in the back. I just think they're cute with some. Uh, if you if you wear leggings, I think these would look very pretty with leggings. But I just didn't like the way they looked on me. So. I see that. They're a size four. They must be a size four because I have bought them and I put them on and they fit. But that's that's what happened. Let me see. And I have. Uh, I'll open these to make sure they're okay. Uh, these are apartment nine flip flops. Ninety nine. The other shoes were ninety nine cents as well. These are apartment nine. I think I'm showing that the right way. Apartment nine. Very pretty. I like the snake skin on that. It's very, very pretty. I've become attached to snakes. I got bit by a red copperhead twice. And um, I don't know. I just, I just, I like them. I like the snake. They almost killed me, but I have no ill feelings towards them. I like the little bit jewels there. That's cute. And there you go. I mean, look, they're practically new. Hardly anywhere on them. 99 cents. So I got those. I have to repackage all of these shoes because, like I said, I'm checking them out, making sure that they're okay. What was that? A piece of lint. My goodness. Scared the crap out of me. Scared the crap, the bejeebies out of me. <laughs> anyway, and these are some, um, these are Eddie Bowers, Eddie Bar, and I screwed these up too when I was cleaning them, so you got to be very careful with these because for some reason when you clean them, you can stain them. I guess you'd have to buy a certain type of 
cleaner for these and I'll probably go to a shoe store this weekend and look for one and see if I can find one. But they're in really good condition. They do have some wear in the back. So, there you go. Cowhide. I want to say that's cowhide. Feels like cowhide. Yes, I have felt a cow. I used to have them as neighbors. <laughs> when I, I lived in a farm uh, about a year and a half ago. And we had neighbors that had about, I don't know, a few dozen cows. And my son used to play rock music outside. And when he would fix cars, friends would bring him the car and he would fix them and he would play rock music. And these cows, every morning, would come and look for my son to hear the music. And they wouldn't hear it. So I hear the cows mooing every morning, you know, because there was no music for them to hear. They heard it for a whole week, so... <laughs> I thought it's funny, but anyway. So there you go. I got those. And let me see. What else have I got? Uh, I think that's it. Um, well, I guess since I'm here, I might as well show you this one as well. I have these in a good girl bag. So I, gotta, I guess I might as well look at them and make sure that they're okay as well since I'm here. Oh, yeah. Um, I was wondering about these. I guess now I know. I also have these um, for you ladies. This is actually a Lane Bryant brand. And I'm selling these as well. I think they are so pretty. Very, very pretty. Look at that. That's a, These bras are very expensive. I buy my bras from there and I buy them $25 a pop and that's with coupons normal price is $45 I want to say ridiculous but nonetheless very very then they're very comfortable they're very cushiony right here so well I guess I found some inventory I thought I had lost so there you go then I have this one as well Let's see so and I think this is very pretty as well and I have a few Victoria's Secrets as, uh, bras also. And Victoria's Secret sells very, very uh, well for me. Um, I don't know. It just does, I guess. Also a, a Lane Bryant brand. So I got those. I think there was only two. So yeah, Victoria's Secret was real good for me. So um, if I find it, I'll buy it. And... I got this little bad girl. Mm, I forgot. Oh my gosh, I forgot where she's from. I don't remember right off the bat. But this is a uh, where build a bear. There you go. It's a build a bear. And I think she's very pretty, actually. So there you go. Uh, I think I paid 35 cents for these guys. So I got that one. And then I have this one. This one reminds me of, I don't know if you guys remember Teddy Ruxpin. Kind of, sort of. Oh my gosh. Now I know where all the lint's coming from. It's another Build-A-Bear. And this guy has that right there. What does it say? Bear, bear me, bear me, I want to say, and there you go, see, he's kind of cute too, just needs a good brush, so, yeah, he's in good condition though, 35 cents for that guy, and let's for that one, where do I have then I bought this one. This is just, I just bought it on a on a whim. I have the Xbox itself, the game system, and I have the Xbox One, and I bought this Rainbow 6-3. Don't know what it is, but it's in there. I'm not going to keep it. I'm just going to sell it. Games do very well for me, so it's in very good condition. So there you go. And I think that's it for this one. I think I've showed you guys all the shoes that came in there. So that's going to go up. Um, 
I don't know how much I can get done throughout the whole night today, but I'm going to try and do as much as I can and throughout the whole the rest of the weekend. Some of this stuff is already listed, so we'll see how that goes. And I think I have, I want to say one more haul to do, and I should be done. Because um, a lot of the stuff is already, um, I just went over it not too long ago. I repackaged it, I resealed it, and it's ready for shipping. So I really don't want to take that out of the bag. I can show you the plastic bags that they're in, the Ziplocs that they're in. I put them in a Ziploc bag. But should something sell, I'll take it out. And I know that I've already inspected it, so I'll just put it into a, uh, a another little plastic and tape it and put it in a, inside a polymailer or a padded envelope, depending on what it is. Oh, I have one more to show you. And I, um, I'll send it up because I regularly go through stuff to make sure that everything is okay. And, uh, oh, yeah, 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 hold on. I have a couple more things to show you. So, yeah, I try, that's why I keep my inventory low. Not too low, but I have plenty. I have a whole storage room full of stuff. But I want to be able to manage it, look after it, clean it if I have to clean it again, dust it off if I have to. So, I don't want to overwhelm myself. I, I still, I want to stay in control of my inventory. And I have another one that I'm going to sell also. Here's, this is brand new, and it's got tags in it. I sold another one with tags like this, uh, but it was in the color, I want to say, it was purple. One purple and one, one magenta, fuchsia, something like that. Again, this is a Lane Bryant brand. And, very pretty. I have one identical to this one identical it's got a lot of support there and there you go I think it looks very good on the inside too very clean too so yeah that one's going up I'm gonna lift, it. I'm gonna lift that one <laughs> and then I found this I bought these for I want to say a dollar didn't know what the hell they were and this is ba BU Baylor University Baylor University and come to find out they're actually boot cuffs you put these on on the rim of your boot and it'll sit there like this and this will be they'll be able to see this on the on top of your on the top of the boot it'll say Baylor and be you um, these have the price on them I don't know if you can see it I'm sorry, no. I, I look at the price. They were they sell for eleven eleven ninety nine I think on the Baylor University website. So yeah, eleven ninety nine. Brand new, never used, still in its original packaging. So I got that. And I think that's it pretty much. Um yeah, I think that's it pretty much. I think I've showed you and I guess I'll be back with another haul to show you guys. Um I have some stuff on hangers, so I can show you that. And I think that'll be my last one after this. I'm kind of pretty tired. Um, my computer's right in front of me, and I can see stuff going on, so excuse me for that. But um, I'll come back with another video, and I'm not sure. I think it's probably it'll probably be a... I'm not really sure. I have to go back into my bins. I have, like, four more bins out there. One, two, three, yeah, about four more bins. This is just what I had at the top of the bins that I have out there. So I got like three or four more out there. And I got, the way I separate mine is I label them heart lines one, heart lines two, soft lines, and shoes. Heart lines one is anything like um, uh, health and beauty, shampoos, um, anything that is affiliated with um that's hard i mean it's not soft lines soft lines is all clothes and shoes because shoes falls under the category of soft lines so i have perfumes makeup you name it heart lines too i categorize it for like sporting stuff 
toys, um, things that's not for your, like, detergents and all that is that falls under how uh heartlines one heartlines two again it's all sporting goods toys all that kind of stuff that i really don't i don't deal with so it's all basically heartlines one and that's how i know what bin to go to when i go to look for stuff that i need to ship but anywho uh that's it for now and i will come back and show you another another video and if you like my videos, please subscribe and thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching my videos. I do appreciate it and um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>